forgiveness comparison to like the other stuff that we've tested is this feels it feels jumpy it feels feels like there's some life to it yeah, like some feel behind it yeah, yeah it feels like there's some real life to the head but not overly like intimidating from no. a dresser oh no like no that. not at all no the lines are perfect yeah, the lines yeah, are good. really perfect all right guys welcome back to the channel so we're continuing on the best of series we've been running through the different iron categories mm -hmm. mikey that we have in the drawer Today we land at Player's Cavity. Yeah, popular one, that's probably... I think this is the popular one. I would say, yeah, probably what our viewers are looking for. It's, uh, you know, looking at these irons, we, every fit we do, these are one of these are pulled for sure. Good T100, we've got Cobra King CB, a real sleeper in this category. Old the Faithful, 201. Mura TC 201. Uh, little MC P7. P7MC, Strixon, JPX 923 Tour. I'm sure that's made by Mizuno. <laughs> Strixon, <laughs> this is Mizuno. <laughs> Mizuno. That's Sorry, the, I fell asleep. That's a new Ram. Oh, uh, Callaway. <laughs> Callaway, CB, Apex. So we've got seven uh, heads. The other one we've got in our desk, test club is the Ping I-59. Um, so, yeah, I think this is a pretty deep test in terms of the quality, Mikey. All the lofts match. We have matched loft to lies. You will see, uh, you know, lots of consistency, continuity. We're using my own Modus 120 uh, in this one. Um, you've picked a nice hole at Wentworth, Mikey. Mm -hmm. 18, 18, 185 yards out, a little uphill, a little water. Fans are watching. A bit, of, uh, a bit of pressure to get it over that pressure. little stream there. Gotta hit it close. All right, relax. Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna start off with the ping. All right, okay, Mikey. Ping I-59. An iron that, for me, has serious shelf appeal. I think this one looks awesome. It's the ping I would rather play over the I-230, mm. but when I kind of hit the 230 briefly, uh, I was more compelled to, to stick in that one. But if there was a, a head shape, this would be way closer yeah. to what I would. The top uh, line of that is, is super clean. For, yeah. for all the ping irons out there, I agree. I would, that would be the one this I'd play. This would be the one. <clears throat> Not bad opener, but yeah, good maybe start. a hair skinny. You're for your fourth shot into the par five, you wouldn't hate it. Would not. Fourth? Ah. Struggled off the tee. Sweet. A little better than the first one. Yep. This has got a chance, by the way. Watch this go left. All right, pin high. Yeah, I hit that one quite nice. The scary thing for these kind of tests, especially with you hitting them, is there's a good chance Something, Something could end ends up, up in, in the bag. bag. <laughs> Driver, Ferrywood, irons. I tell you what, when they're good, they're very good. Yeah. Good launch, decent spin. Yeah. Speeds up on that one. Good, but a little pulley. Yep. Just caught a piece there. One more. Mm-hmm. Good Probably strength. the most neutral swing, that one. Yeah. All right, Michael. Okay, Fries. Cowley Apex CB. Okay. Newest player to the game this year, recently released. I quite like these. Mm -hmm. I quite like these. I saw them in Wonders Bag when we were in Texas. Hit a couple of shots with them. I, I like the look of them. I think it's a, a big improvement from X4 CB last time. Yeah. Uh, which I wasn't a, a, a massive fan of, but I think these look great. Like this feels like it has some, like some real oomph behind it. Say, a little bit of horsepower behind this iron. Feels like it has something that the ping didn't. I mean, you right away you look at yes, the ping has that you know that toe weight, but this has got that back plate behind it, 12 grams behind it. So this one feels good. I think from you know looks and feel, this this beats ping already. Mm -hmm. okay. um, in terms of what I'd be looking for. A pretty good strike. Yeah. Probably didn't quite get 100% of it, but it was close. I mean, performance out of the gates is night, night and day difference. It's nice to see. Feels good? Yeah, it does. I mean, I missed a couple like that with the ping. Yeah. Like, that's that little low strike that yeah. I sometimes complain about. Just get more out of this one. 
Great swing. Definitely has more mile per hour behind this one than, than the ping for sure. It definitely does. Okay, Fraz, JPX 923 Tour. It's a skinny top line. Looks different from the other Strixons I've seen. <laughs> nah, the, uh, Did the, I call the Strix on? No. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, is a departure on the looks front for sure, mm -hmm. right? Start with the I-59, obviously, going into the um, Apex CB afterwards. Top line really thins out here. So we know that some of the companies use that uh, top line as a tuning bar. So when you thin it out, sometimes it can obviously change mm. the acoustics a little bit and obviously the vibration. When we're, we have a thicker frame, we tend to have some, some, some deeper vibrations, which right, okay. obviously change. But Mizuno are the, the masters at, at kind of using tuning um, to sort of acquire feel. Okay. So this, this will be cool. That sounded so good. Sounded like a Mizuno. Slightly left one, Mikey, mm. but I quite liked it. That's going to work. I'm going to say right out of the gates, I'm quite surprised by the 923 Forge. I know it's a nice iron, stuff like that, but it sounds great. Keeps up with the, uh, with the Apex CB. Mm -hmm. That was the best one. Yeah. This was really kind of what I was looking for. And like, I'm not there yet. I, we've had a lot of balls today, so my speed is in a, a nice place. But this was what I was looking for at some point over the winter to get into these weaker lofted irons mm. that I'm kind of getting in the 132 to 135 ball territory yeah. to then make the transition. Because I think, and this is the first time I've felt it, I really know I will benefit from the soul. Yeah. Um, and this would be, this would really be one I would consider surprised at that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, you know, it looks really good. Yeah. Sounds great. Spins up too, which is nice. Like it's very, it's very consistent. More very. spin for sure, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah. No, this, this feels, this feels really good. Oh, great swing. Yeah, easy, those, easy, easy. It's been quite good. All right. All right, Fraz, P7MC. Lovely. Um, like we're, this is kind of similar to JPX 923 Tour, uh, maybe a little bit thicker top line. Looks quite like the, CB, the Apex CB, actually. Okay. Uh, the JPX, for, for anyone kind of looking for that comparison of the, the uh, footprint, this is bigger than the JPX 923 Tour for sure. Quite like the Apex. CB, trying to think where I-59 sits in. Bit smaller. Bit smaller okay. again. Yeah, no, th this one, I, I think this one sits nice. I really do. Not bad, just didn't have my little draw to that one, Mikey, yeah. but came off nice, didn't it? Face open a touch. Just a little bit. And launch and spin are good right out of the gates. It's got a little, uh, a lot behind this one. Mm. Um, yeah, it feels like there's a lot of mass yeah. behind it. Interesting, it feels good. Sorry. See, that didn't sound like the purest of strike, but you got away with it. Got, got it, yeah. Lovely. All right, Michael. All right, old faithful one. I think you should still be playing. Do you? Yeah, TC201. It's a good iron. One week? One week. If I'm looking for that weaker loft set, you think it should be 201s one week? Yeah, this is the set. Oh, nice of you to tell me. Oh, well, I told you, and you left them in Scotland after they were built perfectly. They were. You never let me forget the fact that you literally made that. That was a good set. I built some set. good sets, so that was, that was a good set. All she wrote, folks. Thanks for coming. Really good. Good, good swing. 
Oh, close again. Wow. Listen. Can I introduce nobody you? Nobody likes I, a know-all. Can I suggest maybe purchasing a set? I know a guy. I actually still have a brand new set. Build them up. <sighs> Bit toy. Bit toy. Got away with it. I did. Only five yards right. Good miss. Yeah, it was not bad. You, you know you're not selling this at these. <laughs> Tried. <laughs> Sounded good. Pure as the driven snow. There's no getting away from that. That sound. Yeah, so good. Everyone knows that that sound does when you hear it. It's just Mira. Pure. Mira. Pure. Purina. Lovely. Yep. Sit left. Hold its line. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Perfect. That's nice. Yeah, this is a nice iron. Ooh. CBN, that King Tour is nice, both of them. Tell you what, you might have handed me the best looking one of the ones there. A little Justin Rose special. A Cobra CB. I mean, we hit that Aerojet in a test earlier on today, and it just, it's like the numbers were the best we've seen out of my drivers all year. Mm -hmm. And then you hand me this, it's like, you know, somebody asked me the other day, like, do I think Cobra are in danger of sort of slipping <laughs> behind the direct-to-consumer models? What? Yeah. They might, they might have, well, I know they have three of the nicest irons on the market. Absolutely. Like, if, I just can't believe that's even a question. Yeah. Like, do I think Cobra are breaking into the sort of, you know, the top echelons of the design and performance categories? Absolutely, yeah, I'll answer yeah. that one. Yeah. The other way around, not a chance. There's no DTC brand better than these. And not even by a million miles. And that's so good. That's nice. That's nice. That sounded so good. Stick your mirrors. <laughs> that was a big boy strike. Yeah, now c forgiveness comparison to like the other stuff that we've tested is this. Feels, it feels. It, so it's the right word for this. It feels jumpy. It feels, feels like there's some. Some, life to it. Yeah, like yeah, some feel weight behind it. Yeah, 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 it feels like there's some real life to the head. But not overly like intimidating from no. a dress or oh, anything. Oh no, like no, that. not at all. No. And the lines are perfect. Yeah, the yeah, lines good. are really perfect. Hair of draw too much, but yeah, that's all right. It sounds so good. Impressive iron. Maybe maybe a fraction lower spin from the other ones that we've seen, like the Muras and the Callaways and right. stuff like that, but it's not it's not, not drastically it. different. A little dry. Little dry. Cool. All right, Fraz, last but not least, Titleist T100. Okay. Popular one for us so far this year. Yeah, I mean, always is, isn't it? Since the very first version that they came out with, this has been just a real staple in the Matrix, hasn't mm -hmm. it? Looks good. You can call it the modern blade. Yeah. A little bit of help underneath. Did you say T100 starting to look the bulkiest out of all the ones we've tested? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, compared to like JPX. Yeah, JPX would be the skinniest. Would. I will say this feels more forgiven than the others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really does. A bit more tech under the hood to help you with that miss hit. Yeah. We have hit some pretty squirrely shots with this thing. That wasn't one of them, that was a good one, but. Yeah. Um, Certainly that second shot wasn't, wasn't very good. Um, and you got away with it. Yeah, totally got away with it. You can see why so many people play these. It's very evident, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's, so there's some that are pretty. We love the look of them. There's some that look at, are sound and feel great. 
And there's others that are just straight up ballers. Yeah. This is a baller, Steve yeah. Irons. One more, may he count. Inside five feet. Five feet. For 10 bucks. Sure. Soft, soft. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Every time. Every. I don't know if it actually is inside five feet, though. Well, I'll get the, I'll get the $10 ready, no problem. All right, Mikey boy. Um, good wee test. A very good test and some, some real contenders for an iron that if I wasn't playing what I'm playing or maybe the next iron on from uh, what I'm playing, it's going to be in this category. You know, so, yeah. it's, it's leaving 0317 CBs and T150s, that type of iron behind where there is a stronger loft, but CG's down, there's a bit more help. It, we're into this uh, sort of iron next for me. So mm -hmm. I-59, the good ones were good. Numbers, I think, don't really tell the story. The, the numbers are excellent. Yeah. But I don't know. For me, back here, like hearing it, if you just missed yeah. it a little bit, a couple grooves low, was, it didn't really a, help yeah. you was um, a big, big versus penalty. everything else. Yeah. Wow. All right. Second up was our Callaway uh, Apex. I like Callaway. Yeah, it was I good did right well. in the gates. A little bit quicker. Yeah. Launched a bit lower. Spin was down, I mean, a little, a, bit. A little bit, but 50. Um, you know, dispersion definitely tighter. Yep. It was good, it was impressive. Felt good. Then into the JPX and this we both kind of went, ooh, that sounds good. Had a slightly different, different yeah. apex uh, as well. Um, 19, 19 launch yeah, and 55 spin. That extra spin's nice. A little bit extra spin would, be, would certainly be welcomed. Um, after that, we went into the TaylorMade. Yep. TaylorMade, and, and I said this to you, like I felt like there was a real punch behind the yeah. TaylorMade one. Like I felt like it was, it was uh, really sort of a lot of mass behind mm -hmm. the strike, and it, it kind of shows that it was fast for ball speed. It was really good in standard deviation, really kind of equal to the ping at number one. It was like the Mizuno in the sense of it had more. Yeah, uh, and, it, and it equaled the, the sort of best to that point on carry at 188. Really, it, really liked it. Interesting your thoughts on saying it feels like it has more mass because yeah. when you look at it, I know. I look at that and go, there is no help to that. Yeah. There's no forgiveness, no mass. So interesting feel. Yeah. Well, I think when you kind of have that shape though, like, you know, obviously the way that sort of is cut in the sort of diamond mm. cut, it, it does come out and give you a little bit more mass. It's not For just sure. a straight For blade. Sure. You know, there is a little bit uh, of mass there. Just, yeah, I, I was aware of it, that's for sure. Um, Euro. After that, TC201. Yeah. 130, kind of quite similar to the TaylorMade in terms of uh, spin. A little bit less in ball speed. Yeah. It was okay. Mm -hmm. It was okay. I didn't, I didn't feel like I hit that one great. CB. Uh, I feel like I hit that one nicely. Yeah. Surprising, not surprising in a way. Like, we know it's a good iron. Um, maybe doesn't get a ton of, you know, glitz and glam yeah. as the rest of them do. But if you're looking for an iron, I will say out of the test today, this was kind of the showstopper yeah. for me. Very, very impressive. Yeah, the, the numbers were good. They were kind of in keeping with, with this bunch, that's for sure. And spin was on the lower end, but super consistent. Mm. Standard deviation by far the tightest, not even close actually in terms of spin. So that's, uh, that's an engineering feat in itself. And then we finished with uh, T100, 130, uh, 130 ball speed, 130 and a half, 20 launch. 5400. 54, 186. It's good. Pretty solid. Yeah, we know what T100 does. They're all good in this category. That's, that's the nice thing. It just all depends on, you know, that person's strike. There's some that help you more than others. Yeah. Like you said, you know, you miss a little bit with JPX or miss a little bit with I-59, there's maybe not a ton of help to it. Mm -hmm. T-100, you can miss it and you can have a pretty scrapey round of golf and, and get away with a lot of bad yeah. shots. So at, at the end of the test, I'm probably starting to sort of uh, make my, my choices and going, okay, where, where do I lean? You know, P7 MC's definitely staying. I, I said that I really enjoyed mm -hmm. the Mizuno, probably not going... Uh, probably sticking in the end with that three. Shocker, red, white, and blue. Listen, it's an action. Yeah. Um, that was that was the three that I kind of enjoyed. Interestingly, the, that was the three that spun the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All impressive. Right, they, they were. They absolutely were. Um, 
I mean, tech-wise, I'm probably always going to lean a little bit towards T100 from a tech perspective. Yeah. If I wanted to get away from the tech perspective, I would say the MCs and the 923 Tours would be pretty hard to separate. Mm -hmm. um, but guys, all great irons in, uh, in their own right. If we kind of look at the, and this is kind of, I was paying attention to Mike as we were going, I think the sole geometry is, is quite uh, a big part of the story here. Yeah, good point. When we look at the, the wide Cobra, the narrow tailor-made, You've got some narrow Callaway, wide mirror, wide mirror, but with pre-worn leading edge, mm -hmm. right? There's lots and lots of you know talking points. Very thin uh, on the zoom. They're actually quite similar, Very maybe similar. a little, little wider, in the toe. especially in the toe. Yeah. Um, so that's where the, the the biggest differences are in these irons. Uh, we we spec them out all the same. So dynamically, um, lie angle and loft is all me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all kind of you know the variance in my swing. Um, but seven really, really good irons. I don't think any one really failed. No, um, no. I think this is the strongest category of best of series. Yeah. It's all good. It's all very good. Yeah. This just comes down to fitting in different, it, it different what you like, what others like. So You're right. Um, all really, really strong, you know, kind of participants in this test. This is the, probably the last remaining iron category where tech probably plays a part. Mm. Into blades... It's not really what that player's looking for. Hit and hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll just, just, just put it all in your ball striking and, and just, just trust that it'll, mm -hmm. it'll uh, hold together for you. But a little bit of tech in some of these, totally. uh, some more than others. But guys, this is called the player's uh, cavity back iron test for a reason. So let us know your thoughts. Which ones do you think, uh, obviously, are, are in this category? There'll be lots of you asking, where's I-230? Where's ZX-7? They are in a stronger loft category. We do need to complete that test also. That's, that's one that, uh, whether it's, if it's next week or the week after, we will mm. complete that test as well. Um, but this is kind of in the 30 degree player's cavity design. Then you've got the kind of 28 degree, yeah. you probably could still call it player's cavity. Totally, yeah. Uh, maybe strong player's cavity. Uh, so lots of sub brackets to these iron categories now. So um, we'll get all of them tested at the end of the day. Let us know what ones you want us to try. Leave your feedback, leave your comments. We love to read them. Stay tuned and we'll see you again soon.